Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. It's the middle of February. Pups and I have already been out doing some scouting. And today I want to talk to you guys about something almost every one of us archery hunters have experienced. And that's wounding a deer and not finding any closure because most of the time we never find it. The last week in archery season this past fall, uh, I had shot a really nice eight point. Uh, the problem was is that he was about 33 yards away and the last five yards that the arrow was traveling to him, he jumped my string. Uh, second time I've had it happen to me in the last two years. Fortunately, I was able to recover the buck that I shot last fall. This fall, I wasn't so lucky. Uh, really frustrated because at first I didn't have any video. I thought I had taken a real poor shot, maybe pulled my shot. I just didn't know at the time. Uh, I had looked all day long for this deer and never found him. I went home that night and uploaded my video and uh, as I watched it I realized that I had made a solid shot. It was just that this deer was far enough away that I'm assuming he heard my bow and within that last five yards he ducked about six inches and lurched forward about a foot and I ended up hitting him uh, further back just below the spine in that no man's land. Uh, the following weekend, uh, one of our neighbors, Dan, was fortunate enough to shoot this nice eight point the second day at gun. Uh, Dan had mentioned that this buck was still uh, chasing doe. He couldn't tell that it was injured at the time he had shot him. And once he ended up getting to the deer and taking a look, he found a wound on that right side uh, just below the spine. Uh, he had emailed a couple of the neighbors, including uh, the guy that I hunt on the farm with, Steve. Uh, Steve forwarded the email to me, and Dan and I began to communicate back and forth. Dan sent me a couple of pictures. I sent him a couple of videos, and Dan also said that he recovered about three inches of an arrow with a uh, Levi Schwacker mechanical broadhead in it, which is exactly what I shoot. Uh, Dan and I were able to communicate and figure out that this was the same deer, and even though it's disappointing for me that I was not able to capitalize on such a great A point this year. I was excited for Dan and even more excited because of the fact I realized that this deer did not succumb to its injuries and have the coyotes eat him. A week later, he was back out chasing does. Uh, Dan said that the wound had already started to heal up. It's just amazing to me how these animals are able to uh, overcome such adversity with wounds like this. Um, they are hardy, hardy beasts to say the least. So here it is. I got fortunate this year. I got closure on the buck that I wounded this year. Very rarely do we ever find that. It's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Hoping you guys have a great day. See ya.